Hi my friends, in the previous video we learned how to create a simple class and uh, how to create instances from it. We even wrote a method. And, uh, in this video we are going to take a look at the class variables. If the value of a variable is not varied from object to object, such types of variables are called class variables or static variables. If I revert what I mean, instance variables can be unique for each instance. And for example, this model, color and the kilobytes are specific to this instance. These don't affect each other when creating another instance. We can say that class variables should be variables that are not different for instances and they have the same value for each instance. For example, we said that we are Chevy company. Let me write here. We are Chevy company. If you didn't watch the previous video, you should watch it too to understand this better. So we are Chevy company and the, this brand is something that does not change for any of the cars we produce. Now let's remember the example in the previous video. Which value here can be a class variable? What I just said, the class variable value must be the same for any instances. So just take a look at here. This value we used to calculate horsepower never changes for any instance. But why should we keep it as a class variable instead of keeping it, it in, in that way? What benefit can it have for us? The simplest and the shortest thing is to answer that we can't access this value from outside the class. Many people wouldn't understand what it means if they examined the class. And uh, if people want to get the, the value we use to calculate horsepower, they can't access it. Even if we talk about our brand here, if we type it manually here, something like that. So if we, if we write something self.brand equal to, I don't know, Chevy. If we type it manually without keeping the brand variable, I mean the class variable, if we want to make a change in our brand in the future, we have to go and do it manually. Or we need to change the, the brand over the instance. But this change will be specific to that instance. But as I said, we want to make the general changes. I hope uh, things started to make sense, so let's start writing our class variables without wasting time. First, let's write our brand as a class variable. So all I need to do, just define a, a variable and uh, a value for it. We just write Chevy. And uh, we don't need to write it in this way, because we have a class variable which will not change for any instance. I also would like to define this value as class variable. So let's say to calculate to, to calculate HP. I can use this variable instead of typing it manually. You just copy it and uh, paste it here. If I leave it like that, we will get an error. So let's save and run it. We didn't because we didn't call the method. So I will just call the method carb1.calculate horsepower. So if I run it, we got the error. Name to calculate HP is not defined. We have two ways to access these variables from the method. First, we can access it directly from the class itself or we can access it from the instance. I mean self here instance. If you if you don't know what the what the self 
uh, here means you should watch the previous video so let me show you what i mean i can access this variable over the class this is my class and that this is the variable which belongs to this this class and that the second way to access this variable i can access it through instance so i can access it in this way if i save it and then run i got the result or if i write car i will have the same result you may be asking such a question if this is a class variable why we can access this variable through instance so let's examine it together i go down and uh, let's say i want to access the the to calculate hp variable over this instance so all i need to do is to write the name of it and then if i run i got it so how could i get this value this uh, variable i mean this variable was searched on this instance whether there was such a variable or not if i just go in the init method and they set an variable with the same name if i write self that and uh, to calculate hp and uh, i don't know i will write something file if i save it and uh, run it look i access the value i set here if i remove it and uh, run it again we access the class variable here okay let me explain the process first of all it is checked whether this instance has such a variable so if it has this variable is not searched inside the class variables however if the variable we are trying to access does not exist as instance variable then it starts to be searched as a class variable even if this class was inherited from another class this variable would be searched even within it so if it couldn't been found we would get an error let's continue and uh, i want to show you something i'm going to use vars function to get the variables of an object let me show you i will just print it and then i pass my instance here let's print it okay look at the terminal there is no to calculate hp variable in it but if i come down and uh, write car one dot to calculate hp and then let's say it is equal to five and if i paint it again okay look at the terminal we have assigned this variable to this instance this instance has such a variable so it's not going to look for the class variables it already has it but if i delete it if i run there is nothing here i will remove it for now i'll show you something more okay we have the value here we could access this variable but if i remove it then i will get an error as i said if we have such an a variable assigned to an instance or in the instance then it's not going to look for the class variables but if this instance doesn't have such a variable so it's going to look for class variables that is the process i think something starts to make sense we can also access the brand over it so let me show you the the brand is chevy or i can access these class variables without an instance 
let me show you you can just write car dot brand look at here we don't need to create an instance to access class variables I can also access this variable so actually it, it is a good way because if, if people come later and they look at this class this make sense to them they can understand what we wrote here I will end the video here I hope it was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video